there's a process. God created you for a purpose. And that purpose must come to pass. Enough is enough. Stand up. Leave them behind. Tell them I'm going somewhere. Somebody is holding a position on the right on account. Somebody here must go home with the blessing. I will overtake them. I will overtake them. You believe that shout hallelujah. Right. In you. In the hope. Behold, I give unto you power. Mark 12, 23 to 34. Read. In the resurrection thereof, when they shall rise, whose wife shall be of them? For the seven had her to wife. And Jesus answering said unto them, Do you not therefore err, because you know not the scripture, neither the power of God? For when they shall rise from the dead, they shall neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are as the angels which are in heaven. And as touching the dead that they rise, have you not read in the book of Moses, how in the bush God spake unto him, saying, I am the God of Abraham, and the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. He is not the God of the dead, but the living, the God of the living. Ye therefore do greatly err. And one of the scribes came, and having heard them reasoning together, and perceiving that he has answered them well, asked him, Which is the first commandment of all? And Jesus answered him, The first of all the commandments is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. And the second is like, namely this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. There is none other commandment greater than this. And the scribe said unto him, Well, Master, thou hast said the truth, for there is one God, and there is none other but he. And to love him with all the heart, and with all understanding, and with all the soul, and with all the strength, and to love his neighbor as himself, is more than all whole bond offering and sacrifice. And when Jesus saw that he answered discreetly, he said unto him, Thou art not far from the kingdom of God. And no man after that thus had seen any question. Read that for again. And when Jesus saw when Jesus saw that he answered discreetly, Mm -hmm. He said unto him, He said unto him, Thou art not far from the kingdom of God. You are not far from the kingdom of God. And no man after that does ask him any question. What do you think about this? So near, but yet too far. It's funny. So near to the kingdom, yet too far. You can be seated. It is said, near it cannot kill a bird. Either you hit the bird or forget it. But near it, cannot kill a bird. It will be very funny that many people are living that kind of life. 
very near. Yet, very far. This Pharisee of a man answered a question. And Jesus, seeing how he answered, said unto him, You are not far from the kingdom, but you are not in. How many of you would like to get that kind of answer? You are not far, but you are not in. <laughs> that is the greatest disappointment any man or woman can get. That you are told by God, oh, you are very near, but yet too far. This is the Pharisee, a man, and Jesus. Some people are very near to the kingdom, yet they can't enter. Read again in Acts 26. Acts 26. Twenty six to twenty eight. Read. For the king knoweth of these things, before whom also I speak freely. For I am persuaded that none of these things are hidden from me. For these things was not done in a corner. King Agrippa, believest thou the prophets? I know that thou believest. Then Agrippa said unto Paul, Almost. Almost thou persuadest me, thou persuaded me to be a Christian. I wish very near, yet too far. It is an ugly story for a man to come near the kingdom, smell the odor of the kingdom saw the glamour of the kingdom, see the beauty of the kingdom, yet too far. The story of this Pharisee is not new. Knowing the pedigree of the Pharisees, you would agree they are near, but they are too far. Why are we coming to the church every week? Why are we praying every day? Why are we contributing and that the consequences, whether we are not son, we are in the church? It is because of one thing, because of the kingdom. And if at end you had a word, a, a word saying, Oh, you are too near. Yet, you cannot enter. It would have been better that the person did not hear the gospel at all. I want to tell you one or two people, they were too near, yet they did not enter. One of them is from Old Testament. You know the king. King Pharaoh, the most powerful man of that age. Moses said unto him, Let my people go. And he said, Who is that Jehovah that I will obey him? This is a man very near to Moses. One of the greatest pastors in the Old Testament. He would have said, Moses, please, I heard everything God has done for you. Can you show me the way? But no, he did not say that. Instead, he said, 
Who is that Jehovah that I may obey him? Very near. Yes. Not enter. I don't know what Pharaoh will be saying at the judgment day. When he will see, of course, he will not see Moses. He's forever separated. But imagine, how can he say to Moses, Moses, I remember when you confronted me, you being the greatest pastor of Old Testament. I was very near you, Moses. Yet, not, not enter. This is one of the prayers every one of you will stick on. Baba, if I'm near, let me be near. Let me enter the end. This Pharisee of a man answered Jesus. Jesus said unto him, You are very near, yet you can enter. Religion without Christ, very near, yet not enter. Giving all the, what you can give, very near, yet you can enter. Preach whatever you can preach, very near, yet you can enter. Go out for evangelism at all times. Witness for Christ. Very near, yet not enter. Pray and fast anything you can fast. Call that name Jesus so many times a day. Very near, yet not enter. Let it not be a thing that we said unto anybody here. I fear, seeing that the days are drawing nigh. Now some people who say, Lord, Lord, ah, I gave them chance in my place to conduct crusade. Very near, yet not entered. As I said, Pharaoh was very near in the Old Testament, yet not entered. All these things scattered in the Testament, old and new, people who are very near, yet not enter. Nearly cannot kill a bird. No way. Either you hit the bird or you leave the bird. This Pharisee of a man asked Jesus a question. Jesus answered him. And Jesus replied, When the man answered Jesus of a truth, there is one God. And unto him you shall serve with all your heart, all your might, all your strength. Jesus saw that he answered well, looked into him very carefully. Eh, Mr. Man, you answered very well. You are very near the kingdom but he can't enter. What a pity. Do you know that Nicodemus, a well-trained Pharisee teacher, came to Jesus likewise and said unto Jesus, Good master, 
And you know that you come from God. For no man can do all these things. Except God be with him. Jesus looking at him. Saw so what was in him. And said unto him. Nikki. You must be born again. Without being born again, you can't even see the kingdom. Talk less of entering. Nikki was very confused. Nicodemus, look, look at himself. Jesus, he said, What? I should be born again, second time. Jesus said, Very, very, I say unto you, you can't see the kingdom. Until you are born from heaven. Nicodemus said, How can this happen? This is a teacher. This is a pastor in a church, in Jewish church. They can quote every Bible, five books of Moses. They can quote it, teach it. Very near, yet too far. When Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Nicodemus, you must born from above. Otherwise, you can't even see how much more to enter. Nicodemus then asked, How can this be? Do you, do you see me, my age? white hair on my head how can I enter into my mother's womb and be born again without any apology many ministers of God today they are preaching born again they are preaching salvation not the way it is but they are preaching the kingdom of God do good. Love your neighbor as yourself. Code of conduct. I was listening to the comment in television and it was said if we Do good. <laughs> and the neighbor do good. There will be no crime. Doing good is very good. But it may be very near. That doing good cannot send you to the kingdom. You are too far. Except you are born from above. You can see the kingdom. And Nicodemus asked again, Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a man be born of water and the Spirit, he can enter. Nicodemus was furthermore surprised. How can I enter into my mother's womb and be born twice? Go and read John chapter 3. The whole chapter is almost for Nicodemus. And Jesus said, we are talking about of what we know. And he went down, 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 down and said, for God so loved the world, the same sermon, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth shall not perish. Why am I emphasizing on this? Because of what is going on. Some people are very serious. But yet, they are too far from the kingdom. Then if you look at 
Acts chapter 26. Read verse 26 and 27, 28. Read. For the king knoweth all these things. For the king Agrippa knoweth all this. I mean, Paul was preaching to him about the kingdom. King knows about all these things. Knowing is not in receiving. Uh-huh. Before whom I, before whom also I speak freely. Before whom I speak freely. He was talking about Agrippa. For I am persuaded. I am persuaded. That none of these things are hidden from him. That none of these things are hidden from him. For these things was not done in a corner. It was not done in a corner. King Agrippa. King Agrippa. What? What he said? Believest thou the prophets? Believest thou the prophets? I know that thou believest. <laughs> I know, he answered for him, I know, Agrippa, that thou believest. Then, then, Agrippa said unto Paul, Agrippa said unto Paul, almost, stop there. The same thing. Very near the kingdom, but they cannot enter. Almost. The noblest reply you can give. Almost. What almost? Almost. Thou persuadest me. Thou persuaded me. To be a Christian. To be a Christian. Almost. Very near. But too far. Almost. Is the noblest thing you can do, but you miss it. To believe. Almost thou persuaded me. Paul, almost thou persuaded me. And that King Agrippa did not see the kingdom. Very near, yet too far. Have you finished? Read again. Agrippa said unto Paul. Agrippa said unto Paul. Almost. Almost. Thou persuadest me to be a Christian. The greatest action is persuasion. Paul, thou persuaded me. You try. I am preparing this Wednesday for something. Tonight. Bible study. I'm preparing it for something. Permit me to continue to my foolishness. Why am I saying so? Because on Sunday, this coming Sunday, and the next one, these two Sundays, is very precious to me for the church. That nobody here will ever regret of stepping into the gospel church. Whether by persuasion or by any other way, I want to see you in the kingdom. And you will like to see me in the kingdom. You would like to see everybody here in the kingdom. At all costs. Thou persuaded me. I say for this coming Sunday and the next, by the grace of God. This coming Sunday, we shall continue. On Jericho Road. But this time it will not be Jericho Road. Many of you landed in hospital in Jericho Road. But you are coming out from that hospital. When you come out, you step into another road. 
And that is what we are going to discuss and look carefully on Sunday. Tell me that road that Paul went and met Jesus on the way. Tell me that road. What is the name of that road? Damascus Road. Since you became a Christian, have you had Damascus experience? I am preparing you this Wednesday for Damascus Road. It's not funny. When I was studying that Damascus Road, I said, what? Where am I? Some people are very near, yet too far. If you tell somebody like Saul of Tarsus that is going to the kingdom, he will kill you. He can read Tola. Thou persuaded me to be a Christian. I, pers I persuade you. There is no other way, there is no other place than the kingdom. There is no other Lord than one Lord, Jesus Christ. I'm so delighted that the end is coming. The end is at hand. I wish he will come today. Are you not ready? Some people say, no, 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 I'm not yet ready. What is holding you not to be ready? I'm persuading you to be ready. We don't know the time the king will come. Almost is not most. Thou persuaded me to be a Christian. I wish it would be so. Persuading you until you give up. This Pharisee of a man was commended by Jesus for answering the question or for supporting the question. And Jesus said unto him, You are too near, but too far. I don't want to be a Pharisee. Too near, yet too far. And everybody here coming to Wednesday night is a candidate of heaven. I said it one time in this church. I said those people who are coming on Sunday, they are called the saints. But those who are coming on Wednesday, they are called the faithfuls. In the church there are faithfuls, there are saints. They are not the same. On Sunday you will see saints. Those who are born again feel everywhere. But on Sunday, you separate men from boys. The faithfuls are here. I will not delay you. I will close this service. Begging you to be persuaded. Because the days is evil. Days are evil. We don't know the time the king will come. And I'm persuading you by the grace of God. 
to do something. To give him your life. Some people here may be surprised this night. What kind of service is this? We don't understand what Ezekiel is talking tonight. You cannot understand. But I'm persuaded to tell you this. Is there anybody here who is yet to come near and enter? Near, near cannot kill a bird. Any other thing holding you is a trap of the devil. But I'm persuading you to come into the kingdom. Jesus said, you are not too far. You are not too far. Don't be another Pharaoh. Don't be another Agrippa. But be that man who will say, with my whole heart, I serve the Lord. My prayer for everyone tonight is that God will preserve all of us. Unto that kingdom. Of course, In next two weeks, we shall talk more of that road. But for tonight, come near. Don't stay far anymore. Don't stay far. In your prayers, come near. In whatever you are doing, I don't have much to tell you this night. May the Lord God grant us entrance and let us enter and be sure of that kingdom. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Let us pray. Mission International Headquarters, Tenant Drop Matrix Salami Street at the OS State, along Mutala Mohammed Airport Road, Lagos. Peace outrage, reaching out to the troubled souls. Don't miss it. CPR, Jesus Christ is Lord.
God has a plan for you. A plan to give you a bright future. Come and experience expository teachings and a powerful prophetic breakthrough service this Sunday at Christian Pentecostal Mission International with God's anointed servants. Reverend Dr. O. Isaacal, the General Overseer. Reverend Dr. Mercy Isaacal, Co-Pastor, National and International Coordinator and other anointed servants of God. Worship with us this Sunday at 8.30 a.m. at Christian Pentecostal Mission International Headquarters. 10 and 12 Matik Salami Street at Jawa Estate, along with Mutala Mohammed Airport Road, Lagos. You can also worship with any CPM International branch close to you. It will be a time of salvation, healing, deliverance in the presence of God. CPM, Jesus Christ is Lord. <laughs>